Hi, today I'm making caramel apples. Now these apples are just for me. <laughs> so um, I just started with three apples. I have some popsicle sticks, um, heavy cream, as well as a bag of caramel bits. Uh, so this is the craft caramel bits that, you know, are unwrapped and they're really easy because they they melt fast. Uh, these popsicle sticks, um, you can find them at a craft store. Next, you'll add um, heavy heavy whipping cream because uh, we're going to add that to the caramel as it melts. And then, of course, three um, green apples. Um, these Granny Smith apples typically are better for cooking. Uh, you do want to wash them. So I use a little baking soda because the wax on the... Um, apple sometimes you know that'll make the caramel sort of slide off so i use a little baking soda and just wash the apples so next you're going to take the popsicle stick and actually insert it into the core of the apple now if i wasn't just making these at home for me i'd pull the little uh, stem off of it it didn't matter to me because they were just for me but if i was giving them out i would take the stem out and then place the the popsicle stick firmly into the apple and so you want it to sort of be centered so that it will hold and uh, stand upright you're going to place your caramel bits into a bowl um, i've done a glass bowl because i'm going to actually use a double boiler method rather than the microwave and you put the two uh, teaspoons of, of heavy cream into uh, the caramel and rather than microwave it i actually set my bowl on a pot that's boiling hot water so this is if you don't this is back in the day when you used to have to always melt your candy and caramel this way I prefer it because I can kind of control the heat sometimes when I use the microwave it gets uh, so hot or it will overcook and, and harden and give me the opposite result and that happens to me with chocolate and with caramel so I tend to use a double boiler method it's real simple you just so you add the a pot of boiling water and it needs to be a pot that where you can sit a glass bowl or a bowl on top of it and then you can use that to sort of gently heat the caramel or the chocolate and as you can see uh, the uh, caramel bits have melted and it's pretty easy stirring and once it is completely melted, you're going to take your apple um, and you're going to just dip it into the glass bowl and continue to rotate as you see here, right? You're going to try to cover the apple with as much caramel as possible. And then once it's covered to sufficiently, then you can uh, lift it out, let the excess caramel drain off and then place it on your parchment paper. Now, if you're making uh, uh, something special for uh, Halloween and you want to make sort of scary caramel apples, what you can do is do this same method. But what you're also going to do is that once it's um, placed in the parchment paper, you can take your spatula and, and drizzle additional caramel over it. And so it'll sort of look like a creepy apple like this. If you're just making uh, regular caramel apples, they will look like this. And you're going to let the, the caramel sort of harden and uh, they're ready to give out or to eat, in my case, to eat and enjoy. Happy Halloween.